the topic of uh, today's lecture is called seven hermetic lots and they are used in the natal chart as well as I'm going to uh, provide you with some uh, examples also uh, in solar returns. Uh, firstly, uh, maybe it might be a rather mysterious name, you know, seven hermetic lots, but actually we are using it, at least uh, one of them, uh, it's very well known part, uh, it is called part of fortune. Part of fortune is one of the hermetic lots. Uh, but uh, today um, I'm going to give you um, some uh, definitions and how to use them and how how we can expand the uh, our tools uh, in uh, while interpreting interpreting a birth chart and. Uh, let me first say that, you know, because the planets themselves, they are uh, cosmic faculties and uh, they are, they represent the different aspects of life. Uh, for example, we can look at uh, Mars for, uh, you know, for a general delineation of one struggle, challenge and endurance. Uh, but on the, hard, on the other hand, uh, planetary points, uh, which they are also called lots, uh, you know, we, you can call it points or lots, but the planetary points, uh, they show uh, much more specific information uh, about that planet. So we have actually a point for each planet. So we have planetary parts, we can call them as parts, we can call them as lots or points. Uh, so you can see uh, each of these planets, the seven planets, they have uh, also a point or they have a part in our natal chart or in any chart. Uh, so one of them is part of fortune and we know that, you know, uh, we, we use it uh, most of the time and it belongs to the moon actually. So in this lecture, I'm going to introduce you how to use them in a practical way and uh, how we can apply these uh, notions to uh, our maybe uh, consultation or in our practice. And uh, of course, um, the, the parts, as I said, they are, uh, they are not primary. Uh, they are secondary as a source of information. And if uh, I make an analogy, analogy uh, for example, if the planets, if they are the big chunk of a, a tree uh, or uh, the large body of the tree, then these parts, uh, if the planets, they are the big chunk, then these parts, they are much thinner branches, much uh, leaves maybe, or as I say, they give us uh, much more individualized um, details about how we are using actually these planets. So, for example, as I said, you know, if we uh, if we look at the part of Venus, then we can we can talk about one's uh, style, you know, one's more individualized way of pleasures, or much more detailed information about his or her uh, love affairs, or something about uh, Venus, uh, like uh, maybe entertainment or what we value in life. So parts, they are uh, rather details about the chart, about our use of chart, because the parts, they can only determine uh, in the very moment of our uh, birth chart, so of our birth. Uh, so, uh, so it comes uh, in, I mean, we derive them uh, via 
uh, ascendant sign or rather the degree of the ascendant. So at the moment of birth, uh, the planets and the ascendant degree, uh, they form uh, these points. So they become rather uh, the very last uh, stage of our being because uh, I see that, you know, be, uh, because we are born into cycles, uh, for example, we have uh, prenatal charts, we have a prenatal eclipse chart, we have uh, also prenatal lunation chart, either new moon or full moon, but these points, they are already established before our birth. But now, at the time of birth, the ascendant is registered, ascendant point comes out, and also these detailed information also uh, sets in into the picture. Uh, and each planet, as I said, has its own part, and they are given special names. Uh, I think these are mostly, uh, you know, um, adopted names. For example, we call part of the sun as the part of spirit, or uh, we call part of Saturn as part of accusations, or part of heaviness. Um, for example, also, uh, part of Mars is called part of bearing. So uh, they are kind of giving us some information, but we are going to go over each and then we will, we are going to see, you know, what is their, uh, you know, area of uh, influence or what is their uh, meaning, set of meanings, uh, we can say.